Expectations are high when a motorcycle has a luxury brand name, like BMW, with its recognizable hoops. Expectations rise when a model has the R9T in its name. The R9T is the first model in the BMW Legacy lineup, having debuted in 2013. Consumers, journalists, and custom bike builders all hailed the bike as soon as it was released. Following the release of the Scrambler variation, the Pure variant appeared in 2016 and is a little more understated. The base pricing is therefore $3,400 cheaper than the original model. Its straightforward design makes it ideal for anyone who want to customize their bikes to create something more distinctive and exclusive. The R9T Pure, a member of the Heritage line, naturally draws design cues from the bike's BMW motorrad created to earn its illustrious legacy. Flat twin motors, also referred to as boxer engines, were initially employed by the Bavarian business when BMW launched its first motorbike in 1923. The boxer configuration, which has been a trademark of the company since their first model, is still present in some of its products, including some of its best-selling ones, like the R1200GS, even though it is not an exact replica of the original design. The R9T Pure's air and oil-cooled boxer motor, which serves as the engine, is arguably the most similar to the original air-cooled boxer motor. The boxer engine has a potent displacement of 1170 cc. With 109 horsepower, it guarantees amusement on every excursion, both within and outside of the city. Because to improved power and torque curves, it now operates more smoothly in the 4000 to 6000 revolutions per minute range. You can fulfill your desire to ride a motorcycle in a vintage roadster with the R Ninette Pure. This is powered by the well-known air, oil-cooled boxer engine. Additionally, it boasts features like adjustable spring springs, a high-flow exhaust system, LED lighting, a traditional round speedometer, and traditional painted front wheel covers. It also offers rain and highway riding modes. You may get the most of your machine by using the pro riding mode, which is an option. This is due to the fact that driving on dry asphalt is much more dynamic when in dynamic mode, when the ASC and DTC control systems interfere later. And even after it gets dark, you can still enjoy your next turn thanks to the adaptable headlamps that are offered. This is due to the fact that it boosts interior illumination up to a 25 degree slanted angle. You can see your destination more clearly in this manner. The beast, though, became rather warm in the crowded streets. In those circumstances temperatures over 260 degrees Fahrenheit. But if it weren't for the temperature gauge, drivers wouldn't even be aware of it. Other than the other R9T variations, we can't think of another bike that distributes heat in such a subtle manner. Otherwise, the temperature is at or above 200 degrees Fahrenheit under normal circumstances.